So let's get to it. One of the first things we talked about was how to play when you are running good. And so let's assume that this is the first hand of some um, theoretical 400 head up match on full tilt. We're both sitting with four stacks, two four blinds, 100 big blinds deep, and we get dealt 10-9 suited on the button. We of course open raise. Our opponent re-raises to 36, a pot size re-raise, which as a side note, um, I've talked about in other videos about re-raising to 3x and how that's too small and bad. And we decide, you know, it's the first hand. I think there's a higher than normal chance that he's re-raising us with air to, you know, establish an image, establish some sort of, you know, dominance or aggression in this match. And we say, you know, um, let's 3-bet him. So we make it 108. And he thinks and calls. Flop comes down 9-8-3. We have top pair, and he leads out for 150. And I think this is um, a fairly standard all-in at this point. Um, I, I'm not thrilled about getting the money in here. I think sometimes, um, you know, a decent amount of the time he'll have a big pair, but sometimes he'll show up with some weird stuff, and he may even fold to our push. It's kind of a really weird line for him to take. I would think that if someone was slow playing a big pair, um, you know, smooth call in our 3-bit, which I like, that they probably check the flop most of the time. So this is sort of a, a very weird spot, and we say, you know, let's get it in. And he snap calls with aces, and we bed beat him. Sweet. Okay. Very next hand. We have ace-queen suited in the big blind. He restacks 400, and we have 799.50. And I'm just going to pull up the PowerPoint here. And I think it's, you know, fairly likely that someone could be tilting in a hand like this, um, particularly after getting bad beat it on the very first hand. So we re-raise re with our ace-queen suited, and he shoves. Under normal conditions, not super happy about our hand here. I think um, at high stakes, this is still a pretty standard all-in you know, regardless of the situation, at low and mid stakes, not so much. Um, I think I might even fold here if I was playing 400 or below. But given that we just stacked him and given that, you know, he could be tilting and pushing with a way wider range than normal, we're going to make a thin call down, even though it's not that thin, and calls all in. Sweet. <laughs> And, you know, I, in the hand history, I wrote out that he had, you know, like, king nine offsuit or something. But it doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh, let's move on to the next hand.